Soprano Monday vlogger for the Fantastic Five. Although it's Tuesday, because I swapped with Matt. Isn't he lovely for doing that for me? Yes, he is. Mwah. To you, Matt. Because you are beautiful. Because you are beautiful. Now, I have an issue with the whole concept of. BBW, big beautiful women, thick, fat, chunky. I've got a big issue with it because I acknowledge that I'm fat. It doesn't affect how I see myself. I still love myself. But I don't want to go the extra step further where I'm saying I'm a BBW, I'm thick, I'm chunky, guys like fat chicks like me. Because... I don't want to define myself by my fat. I don't want to I don't want the definition of me to be she's a fat chick. I don't want to cover up the hurt and pain I feel from being overweight by overtly talking about how I'm so hot because I'm fat. Why must I feel like I am defined by my fat? God. Surely big girls aren't all beautiful and skinny girls aren't all beautiful beauty is within and yeah there are physical characteristics which are attractive but I know plenty of beautiful people that I don't think are attractive because they're not nice and some are fat and some are thin it really doesn't play a part for me I'm Emily I am not defined by my fat and why do I always feel like when I walk into a room of strangers all they're thinking is god she's fat <sighs> I always feel that when I go to gigs with the musicians that I work with I always feel like they're looking at me and thinking she's fat and I'm constantly sucking my stomach in thinking that they're not going to notice when they're going to notice because I'm not going to be able to maintain that all the time it's pretty obvious that I'm overweight and it really isn't a big deal. And I just wonder how much of a big deal it is to them. Because I think maybe it's all in my head. I think the truth about true beauty is looking beyond socially accepted stereotypes and trends and fads and looking deep within you and looking at your true beauty physically as well as internally because unfortunately a lot of us are unable to accept ourselves because of the image that society passes down of how we think we should look. It's society that really fucks us over. There are so many people that have gained weight because of society and because of pressure from others which led them to comfort eat or bullying or you know, problems that were really quite minor but were exacerbated and 
became a lot bigger than they needed to be. We need to really step outside the box of what we think we should look like and just go that little bit further and really try and appreciate all the other little things that we don't notice, the things that we are blinded from. You know, I, I focus all the time when I look at myself in the mirror, I even though I, I accept myself and I love myself and I feel sexy, I focus on the dimples on my thighs and I focus on the, the my belly which hangs lower than it should. I don't focus on what guys see when they want to be intimate with me. I can only see the negative and we're really good as humans at doing that and we need to take time out of the day to talk to ourselves and tell, you, tell us the positives within ourselves and not just be focusing on those negatives. We need to be balanced. You know, if every time you feel yourself saying something shit about yourself, say something good as well. I think I've got a great ass, three cheeks and all, because give something guys to grab onto. It gives me a nice shape. And it's a hell of a lot more comfortable when I'm biking or sat on cold wooden chairs. Balance it out or maybe say two good things. I think I'm incredibly lucky to have the tits that I've got because, yeah, they're big and they're not completely perky, but, you know, you don't get perky with big. Gravity does take its toll and at least I'm not kicking them around my feet like a football. So I feel really strongly that self-acceptance comes with happiness and... Happiness comes with not having any negative influences and shit in your life. And I, I'm in the process of decluttering my life. I'm getting rid of a load of crap that holds negative memories. I'm getting rid of negative influences in my life. And I'm a whole lot happier and a whole lot more positive on my outlook towards my own body. <laughs> if anything in this film has touched you or if it have inspired you in any way or if there's anything you want to get off your chest, please feel free to make a video response. You don't have to be naked. Stay tuned tomorrow for a special guest and see you soon. Love gets sweeter every day. 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 Your dog is so sweet when you walk, when you talk, and when you dance with me, girl. Your dog is so sweetly when you walk, and when you talk, and when you dance with me, girl. Your dog is so sweetly when you walk, and when you talk, and when you dance with me, girl. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna do it all again. I didn't fucking have the hat on. Fuck. <laughs> Love gets sweeter every day. 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 Love gets sweeter every day.